Welcome back to Tenslade Info. As the deliveries of Rafale fighters are going to be completed by end of Jan 2022 or by April 2022, Indian Air Force is now concentrating more on upgrading the Rafale fighters to India specific enhancements. According to some different sources, it looks like the deliveries of the entire set of pending Rafale fighters would be handed over to Indian Air Force by end of April 2022. But according to other set of different sources it looks like the deliveries of 35 rafales would be completed by January 2022 and the 36th rafale would be handed over to Indian Air Force by end of April 2022 We are not here to see the debate on which date is correct since whatever it is Indian Air Force would be able to operate the entire 36 rafale fighters by end of April 2022 for sure This is obviously a good news and a great boost for the Indian Air Force fleet. 30 Rafale fighters have been delivered to India so far and the remaining 6 are pending to be handed over. Even though the Rafale has joined the Indian Air Force fleet, the next major task is to upgrade them with India specific enhancements. These India specific enhancements were agreed upon between India and France during the contract signing. Post this year Indian Air Force will be planning and performing the upgrades in full-fledged mode and these upgrades would be happening at the Ambala Air Force Station which is the first base where Rafale touched India's ground. Even though Indian pilots were trained in France but moving forward the entire set of training would be performed in India itself. If required, India might invite a few French personnel to train them here in India. So what are the major upgrades which can be expected in these Indian Rafale fighters? The most vital enhancements which we can expect is about the integration of highly capable missiles, low band jammers and satellite communication systems. It is said that Rafale fighters would be getting 13 India specific enhancements and to list them one by one Apart from the change in the missile integration, low band jammers and satellite communication systems, the next one to be changed or enhanced would be the radio altimeter. Radio altimeter is an airborne electronic device which is capable of measuring the height of the aircraft above terrain and immediately below the aircraft. Next one to be enhanced is the radar warning receiver systems that detect the radio emissions of radar systems. The primary purpose of these systems is to issue a warning when a radar signal that might be a threat is detected. Other enhancements include a increase in the duration of flight data recorder from 10 hours to 16 hours. To add more, the other set of enhancements include the DBS and SAR mode in radar, the infrared search and track and helmet mounted display. In addition to this, Indian Rafales will also get a changed missile approach warning system, the tow decoys very high frequency omni range and non-cooperative target recognition mode in radar. So this was a quick video to provide details on the current status of Rafale delivery and a quick recap on the India specific enhancements for Indian Rafales. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tenslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.